I'm Heath Lambert, and you're listening to Marked by Grace, a podcast applying the grace of Jesus to all of life. Welcome to Mark by Grace. I am answering your question this week. Are Christians supposed to feed, clothe, and support illegal immigrants? So nothing controversial this week. No uh, heavy lift, just a question about il- illegal immigration. Uh, I hope it will be proof to you that I don't pick the easy questions for Marked by Grace, but I pick the questions that you ask. If you've got a question you want me to answer, send it in to Marked by Grace at fbcjacks.com. That's Marked by Grace at fbcjacks with an x.com, and I'll get to as many as I can. And this week, you are asking about feeding and clothing and supporting illegal immigrants and whether Christians have a responsibility to do that. This is a big, controversial, and even in some ways a complicated question. Let me let me try to make it manageable this week by talking about two passages of Scripture that I think point us in the direction of an answer. The first passage is Galatians chapter 6, verse 10, and it says, So then, as we have opportunity... Let us do good to everyone, and especially to those who are of the household of faith. So that's the first passage. And then the second passage is in Romans chapter 13, verse 1. It says, Let every person be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. Okay, so two commands that inform, uh, I think, our answer to this question. Um, and, and I think we want to understand these two commands as complementary, not contradictory. So let me talk about uh, let me talk about each one. So Galatians chapter 6 verse 10 tells us that our priority as Christians uh, and our priority for faithfulness is on serving the family of faith. Um, the Bible says that we are to do good to everyone as we have opportunity, but especially to those who are of the household of faith. So when we think about uh, charitable works, feeding, clothing, and support, uh, I think we should understand a passage like Galatians chapter 6, verse 10 to teach primarily uh, that we are to focus on and emphasize uh, care for our brothers and sisters in Christ. But the passage says we're supposed to emphasize that, but it doesn't say we're supposed to ignore doing good to other people. It says, let us do good to everyone as we have opportunity, and especially uh, to those who are of the household of faith. So we emphasize our care for Christians, but we're supposed to try to do good to everybody. That means that we are going to cross paths as we're living our life and doing Christian ministry. We're going to cross paths and come in contact with other people who need our help. And some of those people are going to be immigrants, some of them uh, illegal immigrants. One of the titles that the Bible gives to immigrants is the sojourner. And we get a command in Exodus chapter 23, verse 9. It says, you shall not oppress a sojourner. You know the heart of a sojourner. You were sojourners in the land of Egypt. Uh, And so we, we have a command here that we need to do what we can to at least avoid oppressing the sojourner. So we need to do what we can to care for those we come in contact who are not uh, Christians uh, and even sojourners or immigrants. Now, we also have a command that we must obey the governing authorities. And we are citizens, uh, most of you listening to this, certainly the person asking the question, is a citizen of the United States of America. Uh, and the United States of America has laws about immigrants and who can be here legally and who cannot be here legally. Uh, That is to say that there are some people who have the actual legal status of being an illegal immigrant. Sometimes this phrase, this language is described as a derisive term. Well, we don't want you to 
We don't want you to call immigrants illegal. People aren't illegal. Uh, and that is certainly true as far as it goes. And yet people can break the law and incur on themselves uh, some kind of illegal status. And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about people who violate the laws of this country and come into the United States illegally and are therefore uh, guilty of illegal immigration. Uh, what are we supposed to do with that? Well, uh, this is where I think we need to make clear that a passage like Galatians chapter 6 and a passage like Romans 13 are not uh, at odds with one another. Uh, we should um, not help people violate the law. We should, uh, on the other end of things, help authorities enforce the law. And that means we shouldn't aid and abet illegal immigrants. And yet we should uh, encourage the authorities to enforce the law righteously. And we should help anybody that we can. What I think this means is that we should report any uh, offender of the law to the governing authorities, and we should also try to be a help in as much as we can. So, so if you come across someone that you know to be an illegal immigrant, first of all, I don't know how you would know that. Most people don't uh, come up to you and say, hi, I'm here illegally and I would like your help. Uh, so mostly what we're going to encounter as we encounter real live human beings is we're going to just encounter people who need help. In the course of rendering whatever help we can as we have opportunity, Galatians chapter 6, if we become aware that somebody is in violation of the law, we should support the governing authorities and uh, perhaps report uh lawbreakers to the governing authorities. That is not at odds with having care and love for the people who are guilty of violating the law. Um, and so, so we need to love people as much as we can. We need to embrace and help the governing authorities enforce the law as much as we can. And those two things are not opposed to one another, uh, but rather complement. 